Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Angel, but my channel name is Adoria. So today I filmed this glowy sunset look for you guys, completely appropriate for spring. If you guys know me and you guys follow me on Snapchat, you would have saw the struggle I went through filming this video. Therefore, you guys better like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, just do the most. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep on watching. So first I went in with my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and put that all over my face to smooth out any imperfections. Then I took my Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer and put that in my T-zone. Then I went in with my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, put that around my eyes and around my nose. Then I went in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Orange Corrector, put that around my mouth and under my eyes just to cancel out any dark marks that I may have. Next I went in with my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow in Brown Black to fill in my eyebrows. I will be having an eyebrow tutorial coming out soon so stay tuned for that. Then I took my MAC Cosmetics Studio Finish Concealer in NC45 to clean up under my brows. Then I took a brush just to blend out that concealer. Then I went in with my Studio Finish Concealer in NW45 to clean up the top of my brows because you want your brows nice and fleeky. Do people still say that? Fleeky? I don't even know. <laughs> then I went in back with that brush to blend out the concealer. Then I went in with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and I used that as an eyeshadow base. So I put that all over my eyes and I blended it out with a brush. Then I took my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder just to set that, that eyeshadow primer. Then I went in with my Morphe 350M palette and I took that light brown shade and put that under my brow bone. Then I went in with that soft kind of chocolate color as my transition color. Then I took a more deeper chocolate and deepened that transition color but blended it down into my crease. Just blend, 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 blend. <laughs> then I went in with a dark brown and a soft red and deepened up that crease color. Then I went back in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot just to clean up my lids and prep it for my sunset colors. Then I went in my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and took Real Girl and put that in the middle of my lids. Then I went into my Juvia's Place Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette and took the color Morocco just to brighten that orange a bit more. Then I went back into Modern Renaissance and took Venetian Red and put that beside the orange. Then I went back into my Morphe palette and took the red color just to deepen that, that outer part of my eyelids. Then I took Nairobi in the Juvia's Place palette and put that in my inner tear duct. It's coming together guys and I just went and I just kept going in and out through the palettes just deepening up those colors blending them more. Then I took Cypress Umber in the Modern Renaissance palette just to blend out my crease. Then I took my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in Deep 36 to give me a nice even tone.
Then I went in with my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in Deep 33 to highlight. So I put it under my eyes, on my chin, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my nose. Then I used my Beauty Blender to blend that all out. It's a damp beauty blender, guys. You need your beauty blender damp and clean to blend out your makeup flawlessly. I will be having a highlight and contour video coming out, so stay tuned for that. Then I took my Lancome Tent Idol Foundation Stick in 510 to contour. Then I went in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I put this product in all the areas where I highlighted. Then I took my Mary Kay Powder Foundation in Bronze 5 to set my contoured areas. Then I took my MAC Shape and Sculpt Powder, just the deeper color, to deepen my contour on my cheekbones. And I went in with my favorite product of all time, it's the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And I use this to blend out all the colors on my face so everything looks smooth and flawless. Then I use the same colors I did on my eyelids to do the same effect on my lower lash line. So I did go ahead and apply my eyelashes off camera. I will have the eyelashes I used in the description box below. Then I went in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to blend my natural lashes with the falsies and to apply onto my lower lash line. Then I took my MAC Blush and Raisin and applied that to my cheeks. Ay, look at my dab. A. <laughs> Then I took my Becca highlight in Topaz and applied that to the highest points of my cheeks. I don't know what song was playing, but I was definitely feeling it, guys. Like, <laughs> Then I took my Bobbi Brown highlight in Bronze Glow just to amp up the, the volume of the highlight because you know I love to be glowing. And I applied that under my brow bone, my nose, my cupid's bow. Then I took my MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in Chestnut to line my lips. I did a little bit of lip contouring. Then I went in with my NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. Honestly guys, I was not feeling the lip combo that I did, but hey, whatever. Then I went in with my NYX Lingerie Lip Color in Honeymoon. Back with the liner. Look at me again, like I cannot stop dancing and singing like... <laughs> Then I went in with my NYX Liquid Lingerie in Satin Ribbon. Then I took my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray to set my face. I've been down so long and look like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Straight up to my face. Like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram. Just do the most. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep on watching. You ain't really with me way back then, girl. How about now? Cause I'm up right now. And you suck right now. 
Oh, you thought you had it all figured out back then, girl. How about now? Cause I'm up right now. Cause I'm up right now.